Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Behind the Likes. I'm Winter. And I'm Shy. And today we're back again. Back uh, again. This is episode 60. So we've had our new logo for a minute, but we just were like, you know what? Let's just introduce it on 60. It's the new logo, y'all. Tell us what you think about it. We're feeling like it's grown and sexy. Yeah, and it's, you know what I'm saying? We got rid of the bubbles and we got fine lines, yeah. you know? So yeah. I like it. I love it. I love it. Shout out to Sabrina. She be coming through. Thank you, Sabrina, one. for helping us get our logo together yes, because Lord you. knows it took us months, months to find a logo that we liked. I'm talking we done hired multiple people yes. we didn't try to do it we didn't ask everybody's opinion but we saw this and we were like automatically and you know what we were so used to saying i hate it i hate, I hate it, it. I, hate we, it. We, I both i automatically was like i was like oh hold on <laughs> same i, I was, was like this might be that. something right we this were not expecting solid so yeah shout out to her i'm happy that it's here but we still got these yeah we're gonna get new cards though, we're gonna so get just, new cards but you know wow even the difference of that like that's it's beautiful. We're moving on up next. I mean, look, it's been a year, but next we're going to have an intro. <laughs> <laughs> oh, like an intro We're video? step by step. Do know? people really do that? They do that all the time. Every single one I've watched. Really? Yes. I didn't know that. We need an intro, like a little commercial? Yeah. And then mm. some people, some podcasts even like give like a quick synopsis of what they're about before they even like go into it every single episode i don't know about a damn synopsis, but I think a cute little commercial would be cute. Like yeah. an intro like to like a sitcom. Yeah. Oh. This all right, y'all. It's going to somebody somebody's stealing. Hopefully it ain't my car. Can you hear that on there? Anywho. Yeah, anywho, we had technical difficulties. Sorry, with. there was a car alarm going off outside. But anyways, also we just wanted to tell y'all before we get into the episode, we are so excited for the live show. You guys are selling out these tickets so quickly. We are yes. literally almost sold yeah, out. Yeah, we are. Mm -hmm. So if you are planning on coming to the Los Angeles show on October 18th, you need to hurry up and get your ticket they are going and once they are going they are gone yeah we're not putting them back up we can't do it so so please. don't wait on that payday put it on your credit right now right it's it, about to go <laughs> quick and look i'm new boot goofing y'all yeah she got some new boots she got those off of um amazon she in <laughs> amazon amazon oh and don't forget to go to our patreon we are going to be filming tonight we're going to mini golfing mini golfing and our website with our tour stuff our mm -hmm. merch everything on there so. also we want to say thank you because you actually sold out to us oh my god it's a lot going what on. is happening also we want to say thank you because it's okay also we want to say thank you because you guys sold out one of our merch hats two times y'all we're talking about the i yeah. support women's rights and wrongs hat y'all sold that out twice it literally took a day to sell out the second time yeah, literally and people are still dming me like can you please put that back in stock mm -hmm. but i think we're gonna wait to put that back in stock for the live show so you will be able to get that at the live show if yeah. you have not got it we're gonna have merch there as well and we just and got news today that we're going to be having a bartender yes at the live show so if you are 21 and up you will be able to get a buzz what I was thinking, did we ever say, did we ever tell them that we weren't going to have a... Uh, we we might have said that on the Patreon, though. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we did say that on the Patreon. Yeah. But, um, yeah, so we're excited. Let's get into yeah, it. Yeah, I'm excited. Let's get into the How week. has your week been? My week was... What? Long. Oh, yeah. You had a fun little week, huh? Yeah. What'd you do? <sighs> a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I really did. So, okay, I, I want to start by saying thank y'all. Y'all were so loving, so supportive, so sweet, you know, about the last oh, episode today. Oh, I forgot. Yesterday. Last yeah, you know, yeah. The, I feel like, was that the last? Oh, no, I see you since then. We package orders. Yeah. But, um, yeah, y'all were so sweet, so thoughtful. I read one of the comments that had me cracking up. Really? So I was like, I can't take shy seriously because all that Botox, she can't show no emotion. <laughs> She's all, mm. <laughs> Look, <laughs> and that's the way I like it. Um, right. But, no, so, I mean, I've just been, you know, I've still been on my healing journey, aka mm -hmm. I was not on my healing journey. Um, I went out. I partied it up. I partied yeah. up this weekend. I My motto is... Party now, heal later. So I went to Vegas. I went to birthday parties. I've been living it up. You know what I'm saying? And she even told me before she went, she was like, should I go? And I was like, please go. go I literally, go, okay, go. so my, so one of the topics was sleeping on the couch while your friend's getting fucked. And, <laughs> and what does that have to do with the week? We, we're not getting into the topics. I still need to know no, about this week. No, because the week, it was, that was a part of my week. Oh, really? Yes. And I was like, I'm, I, I rem do y'all remember being in high school when you go on, when you go on like a mission with one of your friends and like your friends going getting upstairs and she uh -huh. having sex and you yeah. just like 
take oh my over God. the team. You yes, know what I'm I saying? Have, I have been in that predicament before. Bro, literally, and the last time I was in that predicament was in high school, but mm -hmm. um, it happened this weekend, and I was like, oh. what am I doing here? Why am I, why is my life like this right now? <laughs> I told, I called Winter, and I, I told her that I was crying underneath the covers. I was oh like, my God. <laughs> That's why? I didn't know that was why. I thought you were just sad. Because No, I was sad mainly, but also I was just like, how did I get here? My phone had died, so I couldn't call an Uber back. So I'm like on the couch, like literally in this like raggedy ass <laughs> blanket. And I'm just like, I feel like I am too old to be in this per predicament. And I'm like, it made me go like a whole like. I mean, it's not that deep. You were out. It was that time. deep to me because I was like. My phone shouldn't be dying. I yeah. should be following my first mind. I'm mm -hmm. in this predicament where, like, I shouldn't even be going to, like, little any, little afty situations mm -hmm. anymore. But I'm like, you know, when I'm having a good time, I'm having a good time. Yeah. But it ended up being an afties where it was only, like, two people. Mm -hmm. And I was like, okay, my phone was on 1%. So I'm like, babe, I'm calling the Uber. We're about to get out of here. Yeah. So she was like, okay, let's go. So we get in the Uber. She's like, oh, my God, my phone. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, I'm about to stay in the car and wait for you to go get it. Mm hmm She's like, no, just come up for a second. Just come up for a second. Mm -hmm. One thing leads to another. It's been like five minutes, and I'm trying to be patient. I'm trying to be calm. I'm mm -hmm. trying to be cool. I'm also a little lit at this time, but mm -hmm. I'm just like, you know how when you're that lit, but you like don't feel like doing anything, but you're just like ready to go home. Yeah. So I'm just waiting and waiting and waiting, and one thing leads to another. I hear things, and I'm like, let hey? me just get this in blanket and put it over me right. because my phone is dead now uh -huh. at this point and I couldn't call an Uber to get back. Uh -huh. So I put the little half, I'm tall, I'm 5'11". It's, the blanket isn't even covering me fully. I put it over my eyes and I just start to cry. Shy, what the hell? Oh my, you're like, I want to go Why home. am I here? I want to go home. I don't oh want to interrupt God. whatever's going on. Did you on. have any fun though? I had fun at the party, 1,000%. Yeah. I had fun at the party. I'm just saying, like, yes to going out and doing things because yeah. I'm just going through a little situation right yeah. now, and I just, I don't know. Like, I mean, I'm going to I feel going like to you heal. should. I feel like you should. Yeah, you and know, I don't know. You. you know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like you need to get out and meet people and be around people, too. Like, it's no point sitting in the house being cooped up. Yeah. You've already done that for four years. So yeah. it's like, go outside, have a good time, enjoy yourself. Like... That could be a Let part other of the people it. tell it. I'd be outside all the time. But no, the thing, you don't. You don't. You don't be outside all the time. I, I wasn't. I even still, I haven't been to. Well, except when I went to Las Vegas, that was the first club Dre's, I think. Mm -hmm. But even still, I wouldn't. I don't really. I'm not a club goer. I'm like get mm -hmm. a few drinks with my friend, go to a nice little event, or go to a situation. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But I feel like that as well. But I need to have like a healthier relationship with alcohol mm -hmm. because we all like honestly, everybody, all of my friends, everyone in my circle, we all have a little. We get lit, we get mm -hmm. wasted, we get blasted. And mm -hmm. I'm just like, my phone should have been fully charged. Mm -hmm. I should have stood my ground and been like, I'm staying in the Uber. You go get your phone, I will wait on you. Or right. I should have been like, you're a grown ass woman. You can go up there yourself and I'm about to leave and you get an Uber back. You know right. what I'm saying? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I was just like, a lot of things like annoyed me and I was sad because I was like, mm -hmm. ugh, I'm here. When but I, I mean, I think that you were probably just trying to be a good friend too. I was trying yeah. to be a good friend. I yeah. was. I didn't want to leave my friend. You right. know what I'm saying? But I'm also like, we're grown at this age. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, you should have got an Uber and I should have stayed in my car. Mm -hmm. But I was just mad at that crusty ass blanket and like me <laughs> being cold on a, on a random couch right. at, you know what I'm saying? At 32. I was just right. like, no, I want to be in my bed at my own home, yeah. wiping my makeup off. You know right. what I'm saying? Yeah. And then literally when my when I charged my phone up, I got home, charged my phone up. The next text was, you want to go to Vegas today? Oh, God. And I, that's when I called you and I, I was like, you think I should go? And they were, everybody was like, yes, go to Vegas, have right. a good time. Wait, I thought the cover thing happened in Vegas. No, the cover thing happened the day before. Oh, my God. Oh, at that other, oh, yes. at that other party when With you went out. Was yes, when oh, my was God. With. I know, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh my goodness, that is so funny because I'm thinking this whole time this we're whole talking about that happened in Vegas. Oh, no, I'm no, like, no. This was the day before. So I go to yeah. Vegas Saturday. Yeah. Was it Saturday? I, yeah, I go to D Vegas Saturday I think morning. So. I went to like an event Friday. Which is so funny because I was out that same night and you didn't even know. Mm -hmm. Cause, because cause I she was, was sick. I was, I was like yeah. finally like had start like recovered from being sick but i was like i don't need to be drinking smoking nothing yeah. but i did end up going out and it's just so funny because like, shy doesn't even know i'm outside right now <laughs> <laughs> literally and you know what's funny i was thinking i was like you would have never had me in this predicament no i wouldn't have no Probably you know i wouldn't actually would have no i would not have girl sleeping with somebody oh no 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 no, no on the couch no you know honestly i, I had myself in that predicament I, yeah. but if my phone wasn't dead i would have mm -hmm. left in a heartbeat but I'm girl, like, if that was oh i'm i'm thinking this is this in is vegas, back in girl. high school yeah i'm thinking this is i'm not gonna lie, i'm thinking this is in vegas this is in la that was bad that's bad exactly that's i should be home yeah i, I should be home, home. Yeah. no vegas was vegas was a good time we both we ended yeah. up like 
Vegas was fun, but Vegas was the same shit that you see in LA. Of course. Everywhere is the same shit you see in LA. They have the Chris Browns. They got right. the look, honestly, little baby was in all the blogs, but he was mm-hmm. having a blast in Vegas. I'm, I'm not happy. gonna lie. We went out, I went out for James Harden's birthday. Whatever. That's- and it'd be like the baddest of the baddest there. Mm-hmm. Like from all the little states, they fly him out to LA. And I was right. also like I had a good time, but I also was just like all the groupies, every single, oh every single. They had a party last night too, and it's just like even seeing it's just like ugh, all the same dudes, all the same hoes. It's so it's tiring. all it, and it's so tiring, and it's just like yeah. I keep forcing myself in these predicaments, and I end up going home, yeah, sadder and sadder every single time. I do understand, but it's not. There's no use being cooped up in the house, like yeah. you know, go. And have that's why a good I'm time. saying yes. That's why yeah. I'm doing. Allow these yourself things. to have fun and like not feel guilty for having fun. Like you're allowed to do yeah. things and experience shit, even if it's some shit where it's like, okay, I realize I shouldn't. Be in this predicament cool yeah learn that for next time what absolutely yeah. not learn that absolutely. for next time I, i'm next time i'm going to knock right. on the door right get time me the hell out of here or give me, a charger. Call, give me a charger give me something but i was just right. like i just accepted my fate in that moment i, I would have asked like, for a charger you yeah. know me i would have been at that door like <laughs> sorry hate to interrupt like you know i would have <laughs> yeah but that was mainly it and so i felt like i was like all right i need a healthier relationship with alcohol so starting the end of this month i'm raging to the rest of the month mm-hmm. but starting september 1st which is on a sunday which is great mm-hmm. a restart weekend mm-hmm. i'm gonna do a 30-day cleanse i'm not doing any liquor if i go anywhere it's not drinking mm-hmm. you know what i'm saying i'm like I want to just like regain focus and clarity and just Mm -hmm. like, because obviously I know I am going out, but Mm -hmm. obviously that's not making me happy. It's not really working. So I'm just going to like shift my focus and just figure it out from there, you know? So I'm excited to not drink for 30 days. I feel like I haven't done that in a while. Remember when we tried that in January and it didn't work? Yeah. (laughs) Did you see my close friends today? Mm Mm-mm. Interesting that you say this. Well, I haven't seen it. No, don't go look. Don't go look. I'm going to tell you on. What does it say? No, I'm going to tell you on here. So, well, is that close friends the, exclusive? Is that the end of your week, though? Kind of. I just was partying, living it up, touring stuff, living it up. Because I don't want to interrupt you and start with mine. Yeah. But it's funny that you say that. Why? What did you say? So, um, <clears throat> okay. So, as a lot of people know, I was sick for the mm-hmm. last seven days. I ended up getting um, strep throat. And for the people who keep saying, oh, you're always sick, blah, blah, blah. I'm not always sick. sick. Even last time I was sick, which was at the end of May, I wasn't even sick. It was from vaping. And I had thought I had strep throat. And I was Mm -hmm. like, oh, I'm sick. But really, I had a sore throat from... um, the vape. Didn't and we have, talked about that, and she and she gave that explanation. I was like, still was sick, though. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, yeah, so still I have, like, some mucus or whatever the case. But, yeah, I was really, really sick for the last seven days. And it just gave me a lot of time to reflect. Like, I don't know. I just felt so disconnected from the world and just, like, because I'm not, I'm not dating nobody. I'm not talking to mm-hmm. nobody. So, like, I'm not texting nobody. I'm not calling nobody. I'm not on the phone with nobody. Like, all my friends know I'm sick. My mom knows I'm sick. So, like, ain't nobody calling me, really. Like, you're checking in on me here yeah. and there, whatever. But, like, ultimately, I spent a lot of time just to myself. Mm-hmm. And I don't know. Like, I just really sat there and was, like, able to think about what I want for myself, what I want to do, who I want to be, and, like, how I'm kind of, you know, I keep making the same mistakes in a lot of different areas. Yeah. And my um, my homegirl, Aaliyah, had come out here, and she was like, um, she was like, yeah, I'm out here. Keep on, she doesn't really come out here often. She's like, I'm out here. Let's go to dinner, and then mm-hmm. I'm going out after, like, come. And I said, I'm on day three of my antibiotics for strep, so I'm technically not contagious anymore. So I'll go with you to dinner. I might even go out with you, but I'm not drinking and I'm not Mm -hmm. smoking 100%. I cannot do that because I was just hella sick. Yeah. So I'm like, you know, I'm getting better, but I'm at the point where I was at the point where it was like, if I do anything, I know it's going to shock my immune system and Mm -hmm. I'm going to be back fucked. So. I end up going to dinner. I end up going out until literally five in the morning. Don't have one sip of alcohol. Don't smoke no hookah. Don't hit no vape. Don't Mm -hmm. do nothing like at all. And I still had a really good time. Like I had a good time. I was in a clear mind. I was able to wake up the next day. And part of me when I first woke up, I was like, oh my God, I went out until 5 a.m. last night. And I was like, wait, I feel fine. Yeah. I didn't drink alcohol. Yeah. I didn't do anything. Mm-hmm. Like I went, had me a little Red Bull, you know, whatever. And that was enough for me. And like 
part of my fear with drinking is like every time I go out or like I plan on going out, I'll drink before I leave the yeah. house. Like, you know, and then obviously, like you just said, like we have very unhealthy relationships with alcohol, like yeah. pretty much all of us. Like yeah. we just get blasted. Like, and you know? I think alcoholism is such a common thing. Mm -hmm. Like it's so normalized. But yeah. it, honestly, we need to look at we need to look at it from a different perspective of like mm -hmm. we should not be like damn near poison in our body consistently yeah. all the time. Right. And like. I mean, I, and that's the thing. It's like, I can't consider myself an alcoholic, but I do look around and I'm like, what? <laughs> I do look around and I'm just like, the way that we drink is just not normal. Like yeah. people who live in the middle of bumfuck nowhere are not drinking like us. They're not going out like us. Like they don't, you know, go from dinner to the bar, to the bar, to the bar, to the mm -hmm. bar, to maybe the club, to yeah. the after hours. Like, you know, so <sighs> after I woke up the next day, I was like... I'm done with drinking. <laughs> I'm not even joking. So I decided that I have begun my sobriety journey. Oh, completely. like sobriety, sobriety? Yeah, like all the way. You know what's, wait, <laughs> you said that on your close friends? Yeah. I have to look at what you said exactly. Read it. Did you, you talk, can, you oh, can you read, read it out loud. It? Yeah. Read okay, I have to look at that. And so I, it's just funny that you said that because I thought that you were saying, talking about our relationship with alcohol because you had saw that. No. And it's just so funny because I was like, oh, that's very interesting. No. Hi, please be, wait. Huh? Not that. Go oh. back. <laughs> That's a note I left on my neighbor's door. I'll read that after. Okay. <laughs> Close friends. I've officially decided to begin my sobriety journey. Yes, I'm serious. Alcohol has been an issue for me for years, making bad decisions, missing days, being hungover, and burning bridges with people I care about. As my friends, I ask that you support me by not peer pressuring me or making me feel guilty for not drinking. Love y'all. I absolutely did not yeah. see that. So yeah. literally, you know what's funny? Let me read you the text message thread that I have with like, my uh, uh like another like my white group of friends so, <laughs> so i said this and this is what we're all on everybody's mm -hmm. on the same wavelength right now mm -hmm. i said i said because Lindsay, Lindsay said she's been sober for two weeks now mm -hmm. and clark said she's been like sober for like a week and a half now people she's like yeah. people think that that's crazy but it's like when you're in these type of environments a yeah. week is kind of a long time i'm not saying that i dr wake up and drink because i don't if i'm at home for an entire week i won't even pop up in a bottle yeah. of wine like i don't wake up and drink or want to drink but we are social people we yeah. have to be social in these events and sometimes right. we get social anxiety not right. more so her more than me but like it eases it like you know you don't need running yeah, shoes you to think run you're like funny but they help or you know what I'm saying? All like, of the things. But I was cracking jokes sober, and I was like, yeah. I am I've gone cool. out sober a few times, so I know I've that's never. still easy to do. But, it, I mean, it's, it's not easy to do, but I know I can I know I know can do that. But yeah. I said, I said I've said i also decided to do a 30-day cleanse starting September 1st, so let's rage before the month is <laughs> over. Let's rage said before that, the month But then I over. also said, because Lindsay was like, I'm two weeks sober Friday, bitch. It's only health, it's only health and hot over here. And I said, do you want to be sober for the rest of your life or just be more mindful about drinking in general? Because I don't think I can be sober forever. I honestly love a good cocktail, but I know I need a break. Yeah, I mean, for me, I think that right now I'm focusing on just being sober forever. Really? And I don't know if that will change one day, but right now where I'm at with it is like, I really want to do this and it's like a real thing for me. Like, I don't want to drink anymore. Like, I just, just the decisions that I make, and like, you know how I am when I'm drunk. Yes. Like, I'm not a sloppy drunk, but I will cause an argument. Yeah, she likes I will, to argue and drunk. I this. will smack somebody in the face. Yeah. Like, I will do things that I know that I should not be doing. And like, even another thing like that really helped me like make this decision was when I went out with Aaliyah, when I was out sober, I had to be there across from somebody who I used to date, who disrespected the who? the. It, it, uh, I'll tell you. Obviously, after. we could block it out. You don't even know him. Okay. But um, he disrespected the hell out of me. Mm -hmm. Like, like, just a whole crazy ass situation. So this was my first time seeing him since this whole incident where this mm -hmm. man disrespected me and drunk me. Would have been like on some shit, throwing shots, throwing shade, blah blah mm -hmm. blah. I kept it cute, kept it cool the whole night. Had to be out with this man until five in the morning, and everybody was like, "Winter, I'm yeah. so proud of you. Like, yeah. I, you didn't say nothing. You didn't yeah. make it awkward. Even when he would like try to do little things to get my attention, I was like, I'm not feeding into it. But I just know drunk me would have yeah. chose violence. I choose violence every time when I'm drunk, yeah. like literally. So I don't know. I'm just over it. Like I just want to break. I just I really want to be better, and I want to be the best version of myself. And like I'm tired of burning bridges with people I care about and waking up hungover and missing days, you know, being hungover 
and I don't really need it. I don't really need to drink. So. I'm so proud of you. Yeah. Like that really is a big step. I that know. really is a. It's gonna be hard for of sure. Of course, of course, it's yeah. gonna be hard. But I, I mean. I know we have we we both get drunk and we both act completely different when we are drunk. So yeah. I know how it's affected you. I yeah. know I know even like emotionally how it affects you and yeah. how you turn to like certain things. And yep. just because like I get it. So I'm For so sure. proud of you. I'm I'm mm-hmm. I'm I look. I don't know if I can, if I'm on the mission to be sober forever. Yeah. But I will. 1, I'm gonna just see how it yeah. goes. I want to give no, myself. I wanna, I'm going to do it as long as I can yeah. do it. But in my mind, I'm going to just think, just do it forever. Yeah. But, I mean, we so shall see. So, what was see. the day you officially, like, stopped? So, you can, like. The just, last like, day I drank was um, last Sunday. Last Sunday. Okay. Yeah. So, it's, you know, been, like, a week and two days. We got to think, no, the date. So, yeah. Let's see. That's good. Last yeah. Sunday. So, today's the 27th. So, on the 18th. Yeah, last Sunday was the okay. last time I had a drink of alcohol. But I mean, you know, I have been wanting to start smoking weed though. But oh my God. I'm not gonna try. That little fucking weed you know, I keep wanting to. I don't know why I keep wanting to be a weed smoker. I absolutely do not. But I think also yeah. with alcohol, it is your surroundings as well. So yeah. it's good that we're kind of on the same yeah. wavelength, and everybody around me is kind of on the same yeah. wavelength as well. And it just is happening so organically because mm-hmm. I think we're all like getting older. We're realizing mm-hmm. that you know. The benefits ain't really there. There's no benefits. There's no benefits. Yeah. I mean, There's you know no what I'm benefits. saying? So it's just like, I think that's good that we're all on that same like little wavelength. Yeah. I think I'm just doing it because I'm like, I know my body needs a break. I want to yeah. look great forever. I want to yeah. feel energized. I want to be rejuvenated when I wake up because I honestly yeah. will lose a whole day yeah. if I'm hungover, if I'm doing things. Right. You know? And it, honestly, alcohol makes me so depressed. Like, yeah. it makes me so depressed, so anxious. I'll have sleeping issues for days after I drink. Mm-hmm. It just, it really doesn't mesh well with everybody. And like, I already have a history of depression and things like that. So it just really amplifies all of those things for me. And yeah. I just... I need to give it a break, which is so funny because I know my mom is just probably going to be like, I tell you so. Because, like, crying. you know, my mom hates my drinking. She hates yeah. that, obviously, as any parent would. But, my um, whole entire yeah. family be like, all right, shy about to get drunk. And I hate that for me. Like, I hate that and, you and know that's, that. And that's how I am, too. Like, yeah. I cannot go even to a family event. I cannot be around my family sober. Like, when, when my little cousin had his graduation at mm-hmm. Berkeley High, I kid you not, I was sitting there in those things. And this is probably the most alcoholic shit I've ever done. I'm not even going to lie to you. I was sitting there in the stands at Berkeley High. Keep in mind, I'm around my family that I haven't seen in years. I'm so uncomfortable in this situation because I'm like, fuck, I got to be social. I got to be around all these people. I walked three blocks to a bar Mm -hmm. and sat down at that bar and said, (laughs) give me a double shot. Give me a double shot. Also, keep in mind, it was hot as like hell outside. Movies. I swear to God. I give swear to God. One. I swear to God. I was like, give me a double shot right now. And it was hot as hell outside. And I was like, bro, I cannot sit there sober with these people. And it's fucked up to say because that's yeah. my family. But I was like, give me a double shot. I took me a double shot. I went back. I said, okay, now I'll be able good. to survive for now. Ended no. up getting drunk as hell. Like, And that's what I do every time I'm around any family. Like how I was at that fifth grade graduation. I was like, we need some liquor here. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, why am I trying to have alcohol at a kid's Oh, function. I will, yeah, I'll get drunk at a freaking yeah. three-month-old birthday party. You know, it is fun, though. <laughs> I, you know, I mean, well, let's not go into it, because that will be <laughs> <laughs> It is fun, though. Because I was thinking about bringing a little, because I'm like, I'm, I'm going out with a bang at this uh, before I'm September. Crying. I was like, I was thinking about bringing me a little champs to the That's, mini golf. No, nope, But we got it. We're going to figure it out. We're going to do good. Yeah. So, we remember that. You want to start with the social media <sighs> question of the week? Yeah, sorry, guys. That took a little bit of time. But, you know, hopefully you guys are proud of us in the academy. Yeah. Look, and if you want to do the 30 days with me, yeah. you know, comment below. Say you're going to do the R if you want to be sobriety journey with winter. Then yeah. do that, too. You know what yeah. I'm saying? I feel like that's healthy. That's good. Mm-hmm. We're on our mental health shit, you guys. Yeah. And you know what I'm saying? We've been pretty toxic before, but we're on our <laughs> mental health right now. We're pretty toxic. We are. So, the social media question of the week is... And it comes from a lot of things that have been happening this week. Uh-huh. Um, is would you ignore a man's terrible past to have a possible future together? So where is that coming from? You said it's coming from a lot of things this week. So um, like, what have you seen? One was the Nicki Minaj drama with her man from the past. Like it's I didn't see that thirty year. It's thirty year old T, but it keep, it's it keeps being brought up. Like there's new. Uh, well, her her, her husband man. a pedophile. Yes. Uh huh. Wait. So what, that's what what's came being in? brought up. I don't know. I don't pay. You know, I don't pay attention to this. So that's why I didn't put Nicki Minaj. I just put the question. So it's like, oh. but I didn't pay attention. But I know it's been thirty year old. Like, I mean, I'm not saying it's irrelevant, but I'm just saying like it's been brought up. They have like, I guess they had like more video footage of his um, assault. 
No, I what's it called? It interrogation. Like... So they have more video footage of his interrogation. Mm. So that's been brought into question. And, mm. you know, she's standing by her man, her man, her man. Mm -hmm. So, and I remember, and I was watching the end season of uh, Sex in the City, Carrie's gay boyfriend, Car Carrie's gay best friend. Mm-hmm. Oh, when he found used to out. be a hooker. Yes, he found uh -huh. that out. And then another one was, I forgot the other one. I should have wrote the other one down, but it was another one that was like relevant during right. social media. So that's what made me think of that question. I feel like with the the um, Sex in the City thing, if y'all not aware, so basically like on the show, like this guy was dating this other guy and he found out that in his past he had like sold a little bussy, whatever. <laughs> 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 but um, I think that there's things that you do need to, you know, pay attention to and be concerned about. Mm -hmm. But... That thing, like the bussy thing, I would be like, I would look over that. But violence, sexual assault, sexual assault is where I would draw the line. I'm for sorry, sure. no, I'm not. I'm not looking over things like that. Okay, so just as an example, that's funny. So I had thought this boy was cute, right? And I do a lot of research on people before I even like go like a picture mm -hmm. or anything like that, because like you know, I want to know who this is. Yeah. So. I had went to go, I saw this boy's Instagram. I was like, oh, he's fine as hell. He's single. Da, da, da. Let me look him up, mm -hmm. see his info. And I saw some of his info and he had a, a DV charge. And in the DV charge, I guess he had strangled his girlfriend. And keep it, I was like, nope, absolutely not. I know that there's girls that would overlook that. But women, like, women are mostly killed by strangulation yes. in domestic violence. And I was like, if somebody even has the natural urge to go for your throat, they will do that again, like 100%. Mm -hmm. Like, you don't just learn your lesson because you go to jail. We've seen it many a times. How many times have men gone to jail, got out of jail, and then unalived somebody that they're with the next time? Yeah. So I don't play that DV shit. You know, I was in a domestic violence relationship. I know if he beats one girl's ass, he's going to beat your ass yeah. too. It's a, it's, a, it's a history of that. Right. I think I would overlook drug charges. Oh, yeah. I would overlook something like that. I would overlook something like that. I would overlook things like that. But if you have, to me, rape allegations, if yeah. you have domestic violence allegations, mm -hmm. you know, funny story. So this girl I know gave this guy her number and she Googled him as well because he was a Googleable person uh -huh. and found out that he had a bestiality charge. Huh? <laughs> that he, like, and that is like, you know, fucking like an animal. Yeah. with an animal? Like, or like got arrested for something. In regards to that, and she I, she was like, I'm so happy I looked this up because imagine me dating someone. Bestiality? Who, yes, who has fucked an animal is crazy. So was that the charge though? Did he sleep with the animal? She didn't know. She didn't. She blocked him the moment she Googled it. The mo the mo I mean, the moment like. It came up. Yeah. Uh, no, I'm not overlooking that. I'm not, I'm never overlooking that. Hell no, Hell you're not about no. to be fucking Orion. <laughs> <laughs> you ever seen that video where that man, that man let, made a snake give him a blowjob? Uh, yes, and it wasn't a blowjob, he was having sex with it, and that has scarred me for life. Scarred me for life. Scarred me, I feel so, I never felt bad for a snake before. I was like, <laughs> yo, this is fucking crazy, bro. Like, nah, that shit was fucking sick. And the snake was like trying to get away. Ugh, oh my God. Yeah, that was disgusting. But, um, no, yeah, I wouldn't overlook anything like that. Mm -mm. Yeah. And I hate, oh my God. I know a girl who what? literally will have she's just not a girl's girl and she will stick up for any man like who is an abuser. Who, Pearl? Who's Pearl? That white girl. No, but she will stick up for any man who is an abuser like literally be like, oh, no, he said he didn't do that. So he didn't do it. Girl, mm. yes, he did. Like I I will never yeah. stick up for nothing like that. If if a girl tells me that that man beat my ass, I'm going to believe that yeah. that man beat her ass before I believe him. Sorry. Yeah. I'm always and like I've said that before. I Every time a man says that an ex-girlfriend or a woman that he's dated in the past is crazy. I've always been like, well, what mm. did you do? Right. What did why, you do? Why is she crazy? What's going on with that? 100%. Why did she crash out? Because yeah, I've exactly. crashed out many a times, but I never crashed out for no reason. 1,000%. Mm. Anytime I've crashed out many a times, but anytime I've crashed out, I can guarantee you it's been a reaction. Like, it is reactive. Yeah. Every single time. You know what else I was just talking about in the car? Um, so it's just funny that this is on the paper, but I was just talking about in the car... I was literally making a TikTok video and I stopped because I was like, screw it. I'll talk about it on the pod. Mm -hmm. But I was saying that if we get played by a man, it's okay to not tell all of the business on the internet. Oh my God. Yes. Like I am really like quite tired of seeing so many girls like come to the internet, put their man on blast, tell them all the stuff, tell them all the tea. And then three months later, you're back with the man. So why did you even tell yeah. us to begin with? We all done been played. Yes. 
just keep it to yourself if you're gonna go back like it's okay if you want to go back that's your own personal decision whatever mm -hmm. do you boo but like why are you telling us yeah. i'm so and then even if you don't go back, it's like if you specifically, I'm not trying to make it into a thing, but if you're a woman of color, they don't care. The Internet does not care how that man plays you. They will try to find a way to make you the problem mm -hmm. every single time. single time. The only way that you're going to be able to put your man on blast for being a cheater, a liar or a dog and have that success successfully work in your favor is if you are a white woman and if your partner is black and it just reminds me of the freaking, what is that white girl's name? Her um, football player boyfriend cheated, fiance. Uh, her name is like Tiana or something. Tiana with mm -hmm. an R. Wait, the one who always looked mean on TikTok? Is no, that no, one? no, 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 no. She's the white girl. Her hus her fiance's name was Cody or some shit. Mm -hmm. And her he had like cheated her fiance. And now she's like on every podcast telling oh, all yeah, their yeah, business yeah, yeah, yeah. of the whole relationship mm -hmm. and just put everything on blast. And I'm just like. But that's the social media. God. This is social media now. They're using everything for, you know, monetary gain. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So it's just like if this, I mean, I don't know. I think that goes hand in hand with the people being addicted to like clout chasing and literally just like, yeah, you know what I'm know. saying? But also in the same sense, I get what people say when they talk about the situation because they let them in on their day to day life 1000%. Okay, yeah, I get So they that. want to be able to like, all right, well, everybody's asking. This is, you know, like how you said, like sometimes yeah. bring clarity. But I do think there's a fine line. I think that it's just like going too far. It's like, yeah. look, if the man cheated, y'all broke up and he did you wrong yeah. and y'all were in a public relationship. I understand yes. going online and saying we broke up and we broke up because he cheated. Yeah. Period. Leave it there. I don't really feel like ev the whole world needs to know. Oh, yeah. And on, on this day, he did this. And then yeah. on this, he did that. And then he got me this. And then and he took he that back. And then, naked. and then. What? You know, they be saying, they be, they be, yeah, just like they be saying the most random shit, like, oh, he just got two stains in his booty. Right, like, like, too many details. Like, it's just too fucking much. Like, yeah. keep it to your goddamn self. Like, and then it's just like, ugh, I don't know. It's just fucking weird. No, I agree. I really agree. I honestly do agree. But it's different, like, with the Kiki Palmer situation, oh, yeah. how she doesn't, she didn't necessarily put her business on blast. Well, she did. It was Googled. Was it? No, Wait. she did put her readings on blast because remember she was posting the um, damn videos, right? She posted the videos? I thought, I thought she they posted came them. From, or, or did they, they leak? I think they leaked. But how do you think something leaked from your home camera? No, I thought it might have been used as evidence in court. Oh, okay. For, okay. You know what's another one right now? This isn't on the notes or anything, but the Stunner Girl situation. Oh, yeah. That is actually insane. I And I honestly just kind of read into it today. Like, I was on, like, a little thing. The Stunner and I, Girl situation is very odd to me because I've been seeing stuff pop up on my For You page about it. But I'm like... If this man was all of this stuff you talking about, he a tweaker, he got a shit bag, and he got all this. Why were you with that man talking about this? Is my husband, this and my I love husband. him so much. Yeah, exactly. And you saying you ain't fucked the man in a year, and this, that, and the third. And I'm just like keeping up a facade. I'm just like, why do we need to know all this? And then he on there talking about she got crusty panties. And first of all, so do I'm I. Like, that stop. one wasn't fair. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just like. I'm just like, but why does it need to be all of this? Yeah. Like, y'all could just keep all that shit to yourself and just yeah. break up mm -hmm. and just have it be that. Like, yeah. it's okay. Just have it be that. Like, we don't need to know all the business. Like, we don't need to see y'all bashing each other back and forth. That's why at first I kind of was like, are they doing this to try to get their little show picked up? Like, you know, like oh, they have a show, they have motion a show off the ground. But I think it's real, though. I think it, I think it is real. But I'm just like, this is just weird. Yeah, it's too much. I honestly, I don't. I mean, I don't know. And if you don't know, Stunner Girl is the girl who we talked about who got shot recently. Yeah, uh -huh. and I was reading some stuff, and they were like, "He shot her." I'm like, "What? This is too much." This it's just, I don't it's know. A lot. But that's I don't my know anything thing. about it though. But I just feel like it just lets too much like people in too deeply to your personal business. Mm -hmm. Like I know, like I'm a very open person on the internet and I'm very transparent. But one thing about it, y'all not going to know all my personal, personal ass details yeah. of everything that goes on and everything yeah. that happens and who it happens with and all this mm -hmm. stuff. Like I'm just not messy to that degree. Like you yeah. get me like I'm open with my shit, but I'm not, I'm not dragging nobody down really with me. You mm -hmm. get what I mean? So yeah. Okay. Cause look, you think there ain't plenty of times where I could be like, he did this to me and he did this to me and he broke my heart. He said he loved me. He loved yeah. Blah, blah blah like there's plenty of things that I could do yeah. but that's not gonna get me nowhere I'm thinking about my last relationship the one that I was in for six the long, the long yeah. one I was in for six years and I like we were Instagram we were posting yeah. all the time like I was posting him all the time he was posting me all the time like we were on social media like mm -hmm. in a relationship I remember just when we broke up I didn't post him for like a month yeah and then I just started talking about other shit like I started right. talking about like one going on dates or doing this and that right and people were so confused but it was just like I was I'm like I'm not about to like they're like well what happened we was all right. in the social media mix of it and I'm like right. 
that's not for y'all to know. That's not y'all right. business. That's not all the just, details. Just ain't the business. Yeah, it's not the business. Like it's not for y'all. It to could know. be like, one thing if you really feel necessary to tell. Like, well, it was on them. They cheated. Yeah, whatever the case may be. But I just don't think it's that deep. Like even with my last relationship, like when I broke up with my ex, like when we, you know, went our separate ways, mm-hmm. it wasn't. I'm not telling y'all everything that happened with that yeah. man. And like people still ask me, like, oh my gosh, mm-hmm. like what happened? What exactly happened? But it's like that's not y'all business. Like at the end of the day, wish him well. Yeah, and it is what it is. Like you yeah. get what I mean. So, and then you never know if you're gonna go back to somebody. So you don't want to exactly. Bash it you know, what you, I'm and saying? that's the thing. It's okay when you fall out in a relationship or whatever the case may be. Look, sometimes we take people back. Okay, and you not like quit putting these people on blast because yeah. then you look like the goddamn dummy mm-hmm. when you take them back. Like that damn girl with the random man from Atlanta. Yeah. Wait, do you see that girl? What? You don't remember the girl, the random man from Atlanta girl who went hella viral and got her fame off of talking a mess about her baby daddy and telling all the tea about, yeah, Brandon man from Atlanta is a terrible daddy. He got six baby mamas and look what the baby mama said to me and this, that, that. Uh-huh. Now she with the man. Stay got a whole back, back with the man, family channel and all that. He living off her. Look, family channel. I'm telling you, looking big as hell, just greasy. Mm-hmm. And, and and she over there like, nee, 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 nee. like yeah. yeah, this is my man now, guys. Like, And I'm just like, ugh. I think I blocked her because I'm just like. You're so disgusted with Yes, it. I'm just so disgusted. Like, you could have just took that Ellen silence yeah. and stay with that big ass man. Like, <laughs> you get what I mean? Like, And that goes hand in hand with not even just social media. I feel like you can't even tell your friends and your family everything because right. sometimes. Because now can, we hate it. Exactly. And they can't. And like, you can forgive somebody quicker than the next person. Somebody who loves yeah. you. You know what I'm saying? Right. They'll be like, you don't deserve this. You don't need to do this. You don't need to deal with that. Very so, true. I mean, I agree. I think it's a time and a place. And I think that social media should not know all of your business, especially even the grimy details. Yeah. And especially if it's two sides to every story. And sometimes the other person doesn't have as big of a platform as you mm-hmm. or is able to get their story out the way that you can. I would understand if it's something like that the world needs to know, like domestic violence or like... Yeah a sexual assault allegation, then I feel like put these people on blast. Mm -hmm. But if it's something like, you know, some regular relationship stuff that just happened or whatever the case may be, I'm going to just go ahead and say, keep that to yourself. If the world don't need to know for our safety, we don't need to know, period. Like, you know, but um, anyway, speaking of embarrassing things, because that is embarrassing. What's up with men going? Oh, no. You know what I really want to talk about? What? The Cam Newton situation. Cam Newton gets on this podcast. Cam Newton has a podcast. Shout out to Cam Newton. He had asked me to come on the podcast in Atlanta. but oh, um, Why you didn't go on it? Because I wasn't about to fly all the way to Atlanta. Oh. Um, but um, so shout out to Cam. But he did say some interesting things that we are going to touch on because I am a little bit baffled. Yeah. And he sat up there talking to, uh, who was he talking to? I don't know the lady's name that he was talking to. Damn. I don't remember who he was talking to. But she did um, eat him up pretty good. She did. Uh, he sat up there and said he got eight. That's eight kids E-I-G-H-T. with three baby mamas. Mm-hmm. And he's saying that he don't have no, it's not any broken homes because he takes care of all eight of his children. Mm-hmm. Um, what are your thoughts on that? You know, I, I have my sentiments towards him and Nick Cannon, and mm-hmm. I and, and they're not very nice. Mm-hmm. And I don't think I, like as people. No, 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 no. My thoughts about oh you what have oh yeah, your thoughts like, are not very nice. Yeah, my thoughts aren't very nice. I think that we'll go ahead and share them. This is the reason why black families are divided because this thought process of men. Like mm-hmm. I think it's sad to me that women that women will just easily accept, and not mm-hmm. to fault women, but will just easily accept being the third, the fourth, the fifth baby mama, yeah. and they don't even want to try to get married first. They don't yeah. want to try the, like, the levels of a relationship before they just automatically just be like, I'm going to be the third baby mama. Like Gosh, the girl Jasmine yeah. that she was on, she sat on a podcast and was like, I rub this man's back. I fix his lunches. I do, like, basically wifey material. And yeah. this man... Goes beautiful. back on beautiful woman, funny as hell, mm-hmm. body banging. I met her in person, extremely nice. Yeah. Goes on another platform and is just like, I'm still looking for my wife. He did not. Yes. So the disrespect to mm. me yeah. is unfathomable. Yeah. Because I would, I would. That's when I would, I would crash out. Your wife is right there. Your wife is right Choose there. Choose one. Choose Rubbing a baby mama. Ba- you know what I'm saying? Like, and it's just like it. You time and time again, black men get on these platforms and just say stupid ass shit. Yeah, they're constantly saying dumb shit, mm-hmm. and they're not being father figures. They're not being father figures in 
homes where these children need to grow up with. Like how yeah. Nick Cannon kids don't even be next to each other. Yeah. And I don't want to talk shit about Nick Cannon like that because maybe we might go on wild that one day. You never know. <laughs> but I'm just saying, like, it to me, it's it it it's not right. No, I don't think it's right either. Like, it's just. It's just too much. And it's embarrassing. I'm sorry, but even like with eight damn kids or 12 damn kids or 15 damn kids, you cannot possibly have a personal relationship with all these damn children. Yeah, and you're not waking up and living in this home every single day, 24-7 yeah. with all eight of these damn kids. Then you really not like even if they are well taken care of. I'm sure they are all well taken yeah. care of. Cam is a successful man. Yeah. He's not stupid. Mm -hmm. You know, all of the things. But. I mean, there's just no way that every child is going to be able to be fulfilled exactly. equally. Like, exactly. you get what I mean? So, I don't know. It's just too much. It also reminds me of Tyreek Hill because I guess Tyreek Hill had, I think it was five children in the last year. Not with his wife. Shout out to her because actually me and her follow each other on TikTok. But <laughs> Wait, what? And now she's pregnant. And now I think he has a total of 12 children. He had, no wait, wait 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 children I've seen this this guy he is he like a football player or something yes. on the blogs yes Tyreek Hill I can't I can't I bro that's embarrassing I don't know what kind of sperm he got but he needs to stay away from me because that's honestly, some crazy shit yeah, bro five kids in the last year and like they worried what? about us being on birth control I'm they need so to have confused something for men because we can please only have and one hand child it out to year. the NFL first yeah exactly <laughs> literally please I'm crying no yeah it's just too much like I just don't understand it I mean in 12 kids is fucking crazy you can't give each one of them a st like a stable upbringing like I feel like in a relationship, I want to do it the right way. Yeah. I want to, like, I'm, I waited this long. I don't want to yeah. be nobody's baby mother. I want to get married. I want to have a house that we could sustain together. Mm -hmm. I want my children to grow up seeing their father day in and day out. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? And, like, that's not possible if you're not in a committed relationship, for one, with that person. Yeah. Two, you have multiple different places and children to go see. Like, Nick yeah. Cannon said his kids, all of his kids ain't never been together. Damn. And this, like all of his children have never been together to this day. Who? Isn't that insane? I, the, Nick Cannon thing, the Nick Cannon thing is just really, really odd to me and really strange to me. And I mean, I'll never understand that specifically. What? And you know them women can't can't be in other relationships. Oh, I know. Like they cannot. I've be heard how Nick is. Yes. And I've too. heard that he does not play that stuff. Yeah. With his all his baby mamas. They well, I don't know about all, but yeah. with the girls he deals with. The ones with no motion. They not allowed to talk to no men, date nobody else, like no nothing. I remember I had uh, I was friends with these two girls who were sisters, by the way. And they dealt with him. And they were like, Oh no, he don't play that shit. Nick mm. don't you can't do this. Yeah, you no, can't and do I've that. heard the same exact thing. Mm -hmm. And the, like to me, I hate to bring it back to women, but we got to do better. What type of woman yeah. is going to allow that type of treatment and yeah. to be just locked in damn near? I a don't jail even want to sleep with nobody with that many damn kids. Absolutely, I promise not. you, I don't. I promise you. And I you. think they say like they're giving. They like I seen some podcasts give Nick Cannon a. Uh, uh, like he, they say he was warranted because of his condition. He has like an underlying condition where he oh, wants yeah. all those kids for a certain reason. Yeah, but they're, I think they're just saying that. They're saying that That's they, not, yeah. he wants all those kids so that he can use their organs one day if he First needs First of all, them. that wouldn't make me feel good as a child. What was that movie where that, that girl was, that little girl was just born because her uh, older sister was sick and they mm. like completely took everything from her she, and she, no. had to sue, she had to sue her parents. I don't think that that's real. Her. I think that that's just I know, but I'm just saying say. a movie. Like, you know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. About Nick no, I'm about Nick. I don't think I don't know, but I don't think that that's real. But I don't know. I just think that that's wild. Like, obviously, like you said, like we are at the age where we waited this long to have kids. We do want to do it the right way, whatever. I understand things happen. And honestly, I'm at the point if I was to get pregnant right now, I would just have the baby, whatever. But I'm not. I'm not putting myself. In I'm position. not going to be putting myself into yeah. these predicaments where I'm sleeping with somebody who got five baby mamas and, Absolutely you know, not. all of this situation, blah, blah, blah. I mean. You feel me? To each his own, because there are some successful women who have fallen in love with men who yeah. have multiple baby mamas. And and yeah. I think that people think just because they can take care of them or yeah. provide monetarily for them that that's all that is. Yeah. No, I want I want to be able to have that structure I have a within family. my household. I want a yeah. family. Yeah. And I think that's not that shouldn't be a hard ask. I don't think so at all. And I feel like within the community, 
a lot of these men get on these platforms and just spew div being divided and like as that's normalcy and it's Ugh, and I just hate it because it's like you know a lot of young men look up to like these guys they look yes. up to the futures no. and Cam Newton and Tyreek Hill and they're looking at them oh well they got 12 they kids they, yeah, no and, that's not cute uh -uh. you see these white men when they go on these and look not to compare divide oh no because Elon Musk got hella kids too no I'm talking the, I watched one recently I know that, you know, but you, but be honest, white people do not deal with baby mama drama as much as black people do. It's not as much, normal. but Elon black Musk might. Homes are, I mean, black homes are normalized for having baby daddies, not being in a part of the family, doing this and that. At least I feel like sometimes they'll try a little harder or something. I don't know. Maybe in Idaho. I don't know. I, I think that when white people have hella kids, they're usually like in cults or like, <laughs> or they're Mormon. <laughs> They're like, yeah, I got twenty kids. We I all, kids. we all live in a house, go to the and I got five wives, and we yeah. got a, we got yeah. a show on TLC yeah, about it. Look, I'm fine. Look, they <laughs> that's their that baby way. mama shit. But no, I was watching this. I was watching like these clips of this one guy and talking, and like, I just tired of hearing men speak so negatively about the women that they have children with. Oh yeah, that's you know right. what I'm saying. Yeah. I think it's just so. That's a big red flag, though. It's a a major Do, did I tell you about I had went on a date with this guy who had two kids two baby mamas right and I knew about it mm -hmm. and I still you know I went on the date with him whatever and I was like oh yeah so some 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 something had come up about one of his sons and I was like oh is that this son like by this name and he was like yeah that son the one that I fuck with and I said, huh? I said, what do you mean? He said, yeah. He was like, yeah, I don't mess with my other son like that because I don't mess with his mom, like da 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 whatever. Like, it was like a one-time thing, so I don't really mess with him. I said, a child? A baby? You're saying to this to me about a baby? Like, what are you fucking talking about? So oh, you're that insane. was crazy. I was like, this is nuts and this is insane. I wouldn't deal with And he is who, also a known person. Yeah, I wouldn't deal with someone who doesn't deal with their children right i wouldn't like my yeah. ex had a, like i was a like that was my life i was a stepmom i genuinely yeah. was a stepmom was i the happiest doing it absolutely not but <laughs> i what that's that was my did she hate it yes yes absolutely <laughs> but i knew if i were to have kids with him that man would be an amazing father yeah. i knew that i seen that firsthand i don't think i would have it any yeah. other way yeah. like you're, you're you're foreseen into the future if a man is horrible with his baby mother right. horrible with his uh kids who isn't a provider or a protector like no like I don't understand how women get themselves in these predicaments to where it's like this is firsthand what you're seeing so yeah. well anyways I got some advice here for us let's get into it it's a long one it so is? yeah <clears throat> are you ready yes advice segment long story short my boyfriend of five years and my brother got into a fist fight over my brother disrespecting me keep in mind he had been disrespecting me for the past five to six months Never said anything, and even the day of the fight, what was said was, he's not going to listen to you. I don't understand what that means. What? My brother is a hothead, and me and him have gotten into fights all our life. Heavy fights at that. Anyways, they got into it. I held them off for a good minute until I tried to push my brother out of our room, and then they ended up getting to each other. I'm in a very hard spot coming from a family to always choose family, but my brother has a history of doing this. And right now, I know everyone needs to cool off, and I'm very open to knowing that they have their own feelings. But I feel like they're both wrong for putting their hands on each other. And I even feel like if they really respected me, it wouldn't have gotten this far. They used to be super close. Mm -hmm. That was it. I don't know what the fucking advice was supposed to be. I guess what she's supposed to do in the predicament. Yeah. What, well, yeah. What are your thoughts on that? I mean, your man and your brother fist fight because your brother is disrespecting you. Mm -hmm. And she's saying she comes from a family. Like, what is she? She cut her, her family is like, you know, we're a close family. Yeah. You need to choose your family side. I do understand that. But at the end of the day. I would be happy if my man be my brother asked for me for disrespecting me. You know? Yeah, honestly, and, look, and then I wanted to, add, I would have wanted to know who won. You know what I'm saying? Right. I want more who details. Won? I want more info. More details who that, won? But, I mean, honestly, family is a and tough. The, one. Honestly, the boyfriend must have won. If the family is saying that, the boyfriend must have won because if the boyfriend didn't win, the family probably wouldn't be like, "You need to choose your family." Yeah. They probably would be like, "Ha ha, he got his ass beat." I know exactly, but also, but also, literally. Men can fight consistently, like they like men can throw down and throw yeah. hands and then be cool and go on the basketball court. True, and true. 
Not they can make up. They can make up. Girls can't really make girls up. Girls can't do that. Like, you know yeah. what I'm saying? I think, honestly, like... Well, no, I've made up with girls I've fought before. I'm never... If you put your hands on me, I'm never talking to you Well, again. it's because I've won every time. I don't care if I've won, lost. If I've like, lost, if I have, I'm not getting back cool with you, bitch. <laughs> absolutely. If I have to even feel like I'm about to fight my friend, we're not talking. We're. Yeah. I will drop you harder than anything in life ever hit you. Like, absolutely not. I'm not fighting my friends. Mm, I remember one night when you almost had to fight your friend. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, literally, and what I stopped talking to her for a oh, year yeah, and a half, true. and she begged to be my friend again. Yeah, what are you that was crazy. About? I was there, y'all. Absolutely, no, you weren't there for that. Yes, I was. She was She was at your house. She wasn't trying to fight me. She was trying to fight. Yeah, oh, she yeah, was not yeah. trying to fight me, and I oh, corrected yeah. the situation. You were seeing when she was talking to me a little crazy, and I had to be like, "Hey, I know you're upset right now, yeah. but this is what we're not about to do. Absolutely okay. not." But a long, long, long time ago. I know when people get lit, sometimes they can mm. get crazy. Yeah. So I was just like, I I say very common situations, but I'm not about to. No, I literally, I don't play that shit. Yeah. I've never had a fist fight with my blood sisters. Yeah. And them bitches have thrown down. You think I'm about to deal with that with my friend? Absolutely yeah, I mean, not. I used to have a friend who I did end up fighting, but I used to have a friend who every time we would argue, she'd be like, so what's up? So what's up? And I'm like, girl, Cut. I keep trying to tell you, no. quit playing with me like I'm going to end up beating you up one day and of course lo and behold I did end up yeah. beating her up but like I'm just like why would you even say that to your friend talking about some so what's up like I'm just some random girl on the yeah, street yeah literally what are, what are we talking about like, very no. childish very, very childish. childish very not demure yeah but no I absolutely not no I remember that but I'm like she wasn't trying to fight me at all she would hmm. she was wilding that night I remember that I'm yeah like, I remember that uh -huh. that was crazy where did we go that night where were we that night and then like we all went back to your house and then it was just a whole thing it was a whole thing and I was like and I like honestly I fun understood. times what was that fun times was that 2020 yeah was that 2020 right yeah it was like right before COVID so it was like 2019 no 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 it was 2020 okay okay yeah because I feel like we started talking in 2020 I know you weren't at my 28th birthday yeah so We've been best friends for almost five years. Wow, look at that. Yeah. So cute. But no, yeah, no, I remember. I think it was, I think she had, had on her pants or something, and she was like, take my pants off. No. No, I remember that. That was crazy as hell, though. Yeah. That was, like, still, like, I remember the beginning of me and Shy's friendship. Like, it was just awkward with all of her other best friends because I felt, like, at the time, mm -hmm. I felt uncomfortable, and I felt like people felt a way about how close we kind of were becoming. Like, yeah. it was weird, you know? Like, just in the beginning, it just wasn't completely smooth. And then now, obviously, everybody loves each other, but it was just Yeah, no, weird. in the because people, people are overprotective of me sometimes. So, it was just yeah. like, you have to get to know winner for yourself and, you know, understand they're different. Like, you, you yeah. can't go by what you've heard or things like that. So yeah. It was, it was just like. Definitely awkward. It was very strange. But, you know. Yeah. All that's in the past. Yeah, for real. Nobody cares anymore. Yeah, no, not at all. But, um, I mean, for that advice for her, I don't know, girl, let them figure that shit out themselves. Let them fight a few more times. Stay with your man if you know. It's right. Healthy. Get him in the ring. If yeah, you really want to see what's going on. To make him slap box. I him mean, I'm not going to leave my day. man for protecting me, I guess, for him. Disres like if my brother was disrespecting me. But mm -hmm. like I if if he really be my brother a bad, I'd be like, you can never do that again. Yeah, for sure. Or, OK, I have a question. Would you I've seen this recently. Um. Would you stay with the man if his mom didn't like you? Or if his whole family didn't really oh. care for you, would you stay with the man? Would that uh, bother you? Gosh, yeah, it would really bother me. I'm not going to lie. I guess I would stay with him, but I have a friend who's kind of going through something like that. Mm -hmm. And um, it's that's a hard one. Like, you know, you having somebody's family dislike you is, like, yeah. really, really hard. And, like, especially, I don't know. I just feel like as as really beautiful women, and I say this in, like, a really humble way, but, like, as really beautiful women, it's kind of hard when you date men because people will either be very welcoming or there will be people that are jealous, mm -hmm. that will treat you differently, that think that, oh, you're only after them for or their money or mm -hmm. are you here for the right reasons? Are you capable of loving yeah. somebody properly because you think you're too good? Yeah. And I've been in situations like that. It's like they want like to humble you. Yeah, they, they want to humble, humble you. you. Yeah. They're like, who is, who is this bitch coming or, or in? Or be like, I'm first. Or this is, right. I'm, I'm, I'm the leader. It is. Right. Like, just, exactly. Just fuck your son for all that. Exactly. You know that is a big thing that people really don't talk about. Mm -hmm. There be family members and mamas who be jealous of girlfriends. Sisters and cousins. Sisters cousins. and cousins mm -hmm. who be acting weird towards the girlfriend because the girlfriend cute, yeah. whatever the case. Like, but I mean, and another, here's another thing. I think that if the mom herself is a bad bitch 
or has daughters who are bad bitches. She won't care if her boyfriend dates beautiful women. She won't be jealous because she's like, I know her, her son. I know about that. Yeah, like her son she won't feel no way. Oh, uh -huh. Yeah, like she won't be like, like okay. Imagine I have a son, right? Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna feel no way if my son brings a beautiful girl home. Oh, we because uh, I'm not a, I'm not jealous or a hater. Like I'm I know what it is to be a bad the bitch. The standard like, for my nephews is if they like they right. need to look like us. Right, but imagine <laughs> I've been an ugly duck yeah. my whole life, and then my my son brings home this beautiful like, woman. And I have mm -hmm. like this secret, like little animosity yeah. towards her. That's just like, even, but honestly. That's a thing. That is a thing. Honestly, I think I personally, it would bother me because you know me. I'm like, I want everyone to get along. I'm, a, I'm, right. I, my personality is low key as well, like a mediator too. Mm -hmm. But it's like, it would really bother me or it would, it would, if Drain they didn't my like energy me. if they didn't like me if my, oh, if yeah, my no. parents me too. did not like me or family members yeah. I remember a guy that I was talking to he had no family members uh -huh. and I felt like sometimes his and his mother passed away so I remember he would say you know God took one angel and sent me another one. Mm -hmm. And I was like, this is a lot of pressure. Damn. You know what I'm Living saying? Living up to the mama look, shoes? Look, I was like, I got to be the mama to daddy. I was like, this is a lot of pressure. Right. But, you know, in the same sense, I was like, at least I ain't got to worry about nobody not liking me. Right. But, no, yeah. I mean, I, I do get what you mean, but mm -hmm. that is a big thing. Yeah. I need my spouse's family to like me. Yeah, I've me been too. in situations where the moms are just mean to me for no mm -hmm. reason. And it's so uncomfortable because it's like, you can't disrespect nobody mama. Yeah, you, you get can. what I mean? Like if some of these mom, bro, I've had moms like take little shots at me, say little slick shit. Where really, if you was a random bitch on the street, I would have checked your ass. Mm -hmm. But I can't. You'd be like, hmm. you have to be like, yeah, <laughs> I've gotten little slick. Not in the not in the previous relationship. Like, I told you me, about the, loves me. I told you about the winter comment. What? Oh my goodness. I remember I was dating this boy. It really wasn't even nothing serious at all. I don't even know why the bitch was on me hard. She was like, What are your intentions with my son? And all this weird shit. And I was like, uh -huh. Girl, I don't even care about this man. But, anyways. People always ask, What are your intentions? No, but she was like, You trying to get pregnant? Like, type shit. Because he, he had played basketball. And I was like, I do not care about this man. Maybe. But, um, <laughs> no, that was not, definitely not. That wasn't even on my mind. I was so young. Mm -hmm. But, um, I remember his like cousin or some shit i was around his whole family his cousin was like yeah i'm gonna start going by the rap name winter and i was like oh, yeah, I, I was joking this. with him and i was like why would you do that when my name is already winter mm -hmm. and i do music ha 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 and then his mom cuts in and was like you don't need to worry about that because he gonna be way bigger <gasps> than you are <laughs> jokes on her no but uh <laughs> yeah i swear to god i swear to god and then even when i quit dating him I was, this is when I lived in Atlanta. Even when I had quit dating him, I'm in a restaurant on a whole nother date with a whole nother man. Cause I didn't even care about her son. I have my, um, I have my hair done. I forgot how I have my hair done and I'm on the date with the man. I, sh I run into the mama mm -hmm. on my date. She walks up to me. She's like, I like your hair, but I could do it better. I was like, Okay, thank you. What, but did she keep do in mind, hair or something? I guess. But I'm like, in my mind, I'm like, girl, That's such a half -ass I don't know why you trying to still play with me. Don't nobody want your stinking ass thing because he did yeah. use to stink. So I, I mean, honestly, I'm like, what you see is what you get with me. So yeah. it's just like, if you, I, I, and this is another thing I want to ask too. Hmm. I'm so confident in myself. I think something is wrong with you if you don't like me. I really right. honestly am. Right. I really think something is wrong with you. Like you're a little, something's a little off. Like all your marbles ain't there. A few screws are loose because I think I'm the best thing that ever happened. Period. So I always And think I can that be way. the best thing that happened to your son. Exactly. So I mm -hmm. will always and forever think that way. So I feel like if anything happens, it's like it's your own personal vendettas against me that you only got with Jealousy. yourself. Jealousy. And look, this is what I was thinking. I was like, I, I, I was going to make a TikTok about this, literally. Right. And it was saying, I think people are women that come from homes uh -huh. of parents or family members that say they're just jealous of you are the most confident women in the world. Because honestly, to this day, my family will be like, if they're not jealous of my looks, they'll be like, they're jealous of your personality. They're jealous of their, your light. They're, just, they're jealous. And I can guarantee you that I have never been jealous of another woman because I'm so confident in myself. And right. that's what they've instilled in me. And I was wondering if like <laughs> other people feel that way. I, I'm going to be telling my daughters that all day long. They're just jealous. Literally, they're just jealous. They're just jealous. <laughs> no, because people really do just be jealous. Like, that mm -hmm. really be the root of a lot of stuff. You know, that's my main thing I go to when people be hating on me on the internet and stuff. They'd be like, well, why oh, do you think? I'd be like, it's because they're jealous. They're just and I jealous. swear, I genuinely feel that yeah. in my heart and soul. Like, I'm not even joking. And my mom was the same. Like, they're just jealous. They're She's just jealous. jealous. And jealous. sometimes people can be evil fucking people and they need to be humbled yeah. a little bit as well, too. But for the most part, people yeah. do just be jealous. <laughs> people just be jealous.
Yes, but anyways, let's wrap this up. Thank you guys for watching. Please make sure you guys go get your tickets for the live show in Los Angeles, October 18th. Please make sure you go subscribe to the Patreon. We're going to be filming for you guys as soon as we leave here. Yes. And we have a lot of content up there for you guys if you haven't checked it out. And all of our Patreon subscribers will tell you that it is well worth it. It is very and fun. And we have been on our, we have been on it. We have yes. been on it. We we've really been on have. our Zoom with the Patreon. Yeah, we've been, on our, we've been on our little tip with the Patreon. Right. Make sure you go get all our merch because it yes. has been selling out quickly. And we want y'all to show up to the live show decked out in the yes. merch but if you're not you will be able to buy some there mm -hmm. but love you bye, bye.